Hello guys, welcome to episode 11 of On the Bench with Vidas series. Today I'm live streaming from home setup and I'm using a um, new sample set for me, Shventa Lipka by Piotr Grabowski. This is wonderful the opportunity for me to explore some of the beautiful um, sounds that are available on this landmark organ from Poland. Let's see how this uh, live stream is doing so far. All right. Uh, do we have any uh, visitors yet in the live chat? Yes. Welcome, Diana. So, and others, if you're joining it live, uh, go ahead and say hello in the live chat. It's very, very good. I started um, this, uh, this live stream with the piece by Lynn Trapp on the tune Erhaltung's Hair. This is called The Glory of These 40 Days. The Glory of These 40 Days suitable for Lent and it was included in the package of pieces that uh, my colleague from YouTube, uh, organist and composer Carson Kuman sent to me uh, to present during these live streams. I'm very much uh, delighted and uh, grateful that he sent send them to me and they were published by the Lawrence um, publishing house and Carson Kuman is editor of organ music there. So I will of course um, provide the link to these scores afterwards so you could of course check check them out yourself afterwards. All right. Um, let's take a look at another piece that Carson sent to me. Uh, there is a green hill inside. Um, edited by Carson Kuman and uh, Alan Macmillan wrote When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. All right, let's see what we can do about the registration. The registration requires flutes on the swell. The, sw the swell of this Ventilip sample set is rather soft, so I will reinforce them with with a few other stops and of course the grades are more important principles and mixtures maybe yeah mixture low mixture could be like this and the battles 16 and 8 uh, Lawrence uh, publishing house uh, publishes accessible organ music uh, for many occasions for liturgical use and uh, today will be of course dedicated for the upcoming Lent season, season of Lent. All right, let's go.
Orion, Jose, and Diana, everyone, welcome. So this was the piece by Alan Macmillan when I survey the wondrous cross on the prelude on the tune of Hamburg. Okay, let's take a look at the collection of versatile, versatile voluntaries by John S. Dixon, also published by by Lawrence, yeah, Lawrence Publishing Company. Company. Um, and John S. Dixon writes in the foreword, this collection is intended as a resource of pieces both immediately appealing to listeners and accessible to most organists. Selected to be highly practical for church use throughout the year for weekly services, weddings and funerals, these arrangements and original compositions are also suitable for recital use. Some pieces are based on favorite hymn tunes, others on lesser known gems that deserve more recognition, and the remainder are original. My hope is that you will find a use for every piece in this hope. So let's take a look at the first uh, at the first piece in the book. All right, it's called Aurelia, Prelude on Aurelia. It starts rather softly. All right, like this. Let's do this.
So this was course prelude on Aurelia by John S. Dixon. Interesting piece, um, really uh, going uh, with the crescendo, constant crescendo, starting uh, very softly on this famous tune. I hope you enjoyed it. Wonderful. Hello, Niels. Uh, he writes, did not see earlier that I am live. <laughs> yes, I am. It was, uh, it, I started, I started not long ago. So welcome, welcome. Good. Um, today, actually, I uh, was going to go live from the church earlier in the day because I was testing some new equipment, um, how to live stream from my phone. But the results of these tests were not satisfactory in 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 the terms of audio quality. So I will postpone uh, my my live streams from the church on the phone uh, until I get the gear and um, equipment right. I have to I think get one more adapter, and uh, I think it will come much better. It's getting closer, but but uh, not yet quite. So uh, stay with me. It's really exciting to be able to do this spontaneously without the computer, just with the phone, special streaming software and um, streaming uh, hardware as well, and some uh, some additional accessories for for quality recording. I hope to do this in the future. All right. Let's see the next piece. In peace and joy. Okay. Uh, created by Victor S. Victor C. Johnson. The tune is Resignation and the title is My Shepherd, My Shepherd Will Supply My Need. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see. It starts with a light read in the in the in, on the swell light read. So let's take a look at this trumpet. It's not very loud and quiet. Eight and four feet stops on the on the manual. Maybe I'll show you. Roar, pleurte, salitional, things like that. And plotted like this, and of course we will need soft sixteen and eight stops like that, and maybe great to pedal. Mm, yeah, perhaps. Okay, let's go. My shepherd will supply my need by Victor C. Johnson.
What do you think? Do, uh, do, do you like it? Do you find it beautiful? I do. My shepherd will supply my need. Victor C. Johnson. Published by Lawrence Publishing Company. Wonderful. Um, okay, let's take a look at the next one. Collection is called David Kidwell Interpreted by Love Organ Voluntaries for Worship. Okay, what do we have here? All right. <laughs> the first is Voluntary on Dicks. Maybe I could play it. Okay. Voluntary on Dicks. There we go. By David Kidwell. This was Variation Voluntary on Dicks by David Kidwell. Rather joyful and solemn voluntary. Okay. Another piece by Dixon. John S. Dixon could be 
a little bit uh, soft Abend lead, uh, Abend lead, uh, evening song, right? Um, good, good. Let's see what we have here. Beautiful stuff. Strings and flutes on both manuals. So let's take a look at the registration. Like this, maybe. Yeah. And on the manual number one, this and this, yeah, beautiful. Like this, beautiful. And Bourdon 16. Yeah, I think will be good. So, Ab and Lead by John S. Dixon. Thank you guys for your kind works, words, beautiful, a beautiful piece really, I've been lead, beautiful style too, by John S. Dixon. Okay, uh, Craig A. Penfield wrote nine pieces for organ, that's called a Gordon Young tribute album. And, um, and the foreword uh, goes like this. It would be hard to name an American composer of the mid to late 20th century whose works were more widely used by church organists than Gordon Young. He lived uh, from 1919 until 1998. Young dedicated his life to composing mostly sacred music that was not only very effective to listeners but easily within the technical ability of nearly any organist regardless regardless of level or background. So, composing a Gordon Young tribute album had been in the back of my mind for years, and I finally did it so in 2017. 
I was very pleased that the volume was so well received by organist and thus in 2019 I wrote a second volume. So let me play a little bit from the second volume uh, pieces that are suitable to this occasion. How about a reverie? Beautiful, beautiful reverie. Let's take a look at the registration. We need strings and Celeste on the on the manual two on the swell basically and solo flute. Um, I'm thinking maybe maybe labial clarinet with the or flute would work well. And sub sixteen stops too. Good. Swell to pedal, okay. I think I'm ready. Let's go. Reverie by Craig A. Penfield. Somebody in the chat wrote that sounds almost like a theater organ, right? Nils wrote, yeah, earlier. And I agree, uh, this sample set has some qualities like that, especially when you add the tremolans. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Shall we play a little bit louder? Proclamation on Ophelia at Philia from the same collection, Craig A. Penfield. Um, Beautiful, full organ to mixtures and couplers. Great. So let's do full org, full organ.
beautiful pro pro proclamation on Ophelia at Philia by Craig A. Penfield from Gor a Gordon Young tribute album, volume number two. All right, the next collection is by John A. Stolmith, Jazzy Hymn Settings for Organ. Very interesting. He wrote in the um, in the in the forward in this delightful volume John A. Stolsmith Stolsmith has written organ settings of a number of familiar hymns influences from the world of jazz are present throughout the character of the pieces varies so there are settings suitable for preludes offertories and postludes individual settings or groupings of works into a suite are also possible to use for recital purposes. Okay, let's see. The first piece, for example, All Things Bright and Beautiful. You obviously know this one. And I could, I could play it with this registration on the swell we need gentle eight gentle eight okay and on the on the grid i need flute four very very gentle stops and 16 and 8 in the in the in the pedals let's go Okay, all things bright and beautiful. Here is the registration.
this was all things bright and beautiful really a lovely piece slightly jazzy right harmony slightly jazzy movement also okay what do we have here um hymns for Lent, holy weekend easter passion and glory by esther magarlerel megarler megarler i hope i pronouncing her uh, last, last name correctly passion and glory is a collection of organ prelates and postlets fav based on favorite lent and easter hymns of many christian denominations from palm sunday to the crucifixion of the resurrection of jesus christ the events of that sacred time are remembered in these settings the moods range from sorrowful contemplation to rejoicing and exaltation all right the composer's goal is uh, to address the needs of intermediate church organists through harmonically rich and varied settings that will enhance worship services during this important time of the year okay how about all glory loud and honor that would be nice okay let's do this by Esther Megerler Megergel hmm. sorry for butchering her last name but it's really hard I have to practice Megergel Megergel good
only voluntary on, on all glory, loud and honor. It's for what? For Palm Sunday, I think. Yes. Wonderful piece. Esther Megargel. Check it out. All right. Um, every season, Lawrence publishes um, three collections. Easy Organ Library. Or two collections, actually. Easy Organ Library and The Organist Library. Um, and I'm going to play the samples of from each. Easy Organ Library is, is uh, created on, I think, two steps. And um, uh, The Organist Library is on three steps. Both are ex very accessible collections. So for the uh, month of February, volume volume what uh, 71 is, is like this so let's let's uh, take a look at the first one by gene clark am i a soldier of the cross okay green is leaving thank you for joining green see you later bye so we will need this kind of registration solo read on the on the first manual i haven't played the krumhorn yet so i think i will use it and perhaps perhaps wonderful strings and flutes on the swell eoline flauto amabile like this I'm a little afraid to use viola de, de gamba, but maybe let's do that too. Okay, and maybe Rohr Flöte from the first manual to reinforce the Krumhorn as well. And what do we need? Quiet 16 and 8, yes, solid set, Subas and Gedak bus. Yes, maybe second to pedals, and of course the tremolans. I love the tremolans, they really, really are good in this sample set. Let's go. Am I a Soldier of the Cross by Jim Clark.
So that was uh, from the easy organist library, Am I a Soldier of the Cross by Jean Clark. And let's conclude our presentation on the Bench Befitters episode 11 uh, with the piece uh, from the collection The Organist's Library, volume 71, uh, by Robert M. Thompson. Ozana, loud Ozana. This is the first piece in the collection, and this will be beautiful. All right, let's go. If this organ had tubas, I would use tubas on those fanfares, of course, that would be wonderful registration choice. So, wonderful. Ozana Loud Ozana, Robert M. Thompson, uh, from uh, The Organist Library, Volume 71, published by Lawrence Publishing Company. I will, of course, add all the links in the description of this uh, video so that you could check them out yourself and choose if you like anything uh, for yourself to play wonderful so let's see how we are doing thank you so much for joining in this live stream the the organ at Sventalipka as you can see it's very very beautiful and um, and uh, suitable for for very joyful occasions for uh, for quiet occasions, for meditations. I didn't demonstrate all the mysteries that this organ has to offer, so stay tuned for Osha's demonstration. She is preparing a proper, complete demonstration with, with really suitable music and everything in between. So stay tuned, it will come either tomorrow or the next after that. She is really working on that and um, I will share it on, on on our community post, of course, too. So, stay tuned. Piotr Grabowski makes, makes amazing sample sets. The link is available in this uh, description of this video. I'm really, really grateful that he gave me a gift of this sample set. So, I'm, I'm going to use it quite a bit for the future live streams as well for you to enjoy. Thank you so much, guys. I, it was delighted, delightful time. Uh, to spend uh, with you this evening. Let's meet again next time. At soon. Bye-bye.